Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back uh, with the second edition. What do I have in my shirt here? I don't know what that is. Um, just ignore that. Um, we are back with the second episode today of Quick Hits. Um, like I promised, we'll be back. We'll be back with uh, the breaking news that Rosario, uh, Jason Rosario, and Eric Lubin is official for May. We don't know the date yet or the venue, but let's get into that. Um, and, and before we get into that, um, again, just like I did on yesterday's show, it is a uh, national autism awareness day. It's national autism awareness month, uh, 3d boxing. It's a, it's, a, it, it's, it's near and dear to the heart of 3d boxing. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description for Taka, which is, uh, our favorite, um, autism organization. Um, autism is a treatable, curable, uh, disease. Um, and, uh, Taka is the leader in recovering people from autism. So if you can, um, if you see this right here, uh, in the top corner here, the prove them wrong on um, that's Duke and Dax. They are two young boys, uh, battling autism. Uh, if you can help donate or at least share their, uh, fundraiser, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, but let's get into today's show. With the second uh, quick hits of the day, and it's a good one. Um, Showtime Championship Boxing is coming through again. Um, this fight is phenomenal. 154 pound division. Um, it, it's you know almost all of the premier fighters in the division are with the PBC banner, and this is going well. You, 154 is right now the gift that keeps on giving. You keep getting. Excellent fights, quality fights, 50-50 fights. Right, guys, it's off the top of your head. Jason Rosario, Erickson Lubin, who you got? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is tough. I don't know. Um, Lubin's the better boxer. Lubin should move. Rosario is an, a big, strong, physical force at 154 pounds, um, which is all the more credit to um, uh Jamel Charlo for knocking him out um, with that body shot that had him convulsing on the floor. That was spectacular. Uh, but this is a great fight. Um, Lubin has had five straight victories. You know, some decent names. E.C. Smith, Gallimore. Uh, Gallimore got to beat Rosario. Some good wins um, since that uh, loss to Charlo, which was, it seems like ancient history now. Um, uh, <laughs> guys, it's getting late here. Uh, my brain is starting to go. Um, Erickson Lubin has really, and then his win over Goucher, which not painstakingly impressive, but he did what he had to do. L Lubin is, is a guy that's back, um, and, and he's 25 now. He's hitting it. He's starting to hit his prime. Now is the right time for him to be challenging for a world title. Three years ago, it wasn't when he when he got knocked out by Charles. That wasn't the right time. Now is the right time. Uh, I, I think he's grown enough. He's improved enough. Now he can make his hands. But this division is so tough. Jason Rosario looked like a like guy uh, when he destroyed J-Rock that he may be the best guy in the whole division. He may be the best guy in the whole weight class. Um, and he was fighting a competitive fight with, with um, Charlo, which Charlo was getting the best of. And then he got hit with a body shot. And it was just... It didn't even seem like that big of a shot. It looked like it was partially deflected, but something happened to Rosario there, um, and, and he was not getting up. Um, you know, Rosario had his claim to fame um, in, in destroying J Rock, and, and he absolutely um, destroyed J Rock. Um, he he beat J Rock badly in a fight that everyone thought he was going to get beat badly in. Um, before that, he had wins over Coda, uh, Demonte Clark. Jamonte Clark, who's a decent fighter. Jamonte Clark uh, fought Sebastian Fandora to enjoy the, um Also, um, Rosario has a win over Justin Deloach. 
so you know he, he's done some things he's got besides the the, 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 the j-rock win which is obviously his claim to fame he's got a few other wins um to hang his hat on now showtime says it's gonna happen in may uh, we don't know what week do the 15th 22nd or 29th one of those three weeks is when we're gonna get this fight um so about a month and a half we're gonna have this fight which is, it's great news it's a great fight uh i'm into this fight um Right now, if I had to pick, I, I, I do think Lubin outboxes him. I, I, and I may change my mind on that. I'm going to go back, watch, uh, binge watch some of their fights. Um, but I, I think Lubin is a little bit too skilled. Lubin has a lot of skills. Like, he got caught from a guy who's a puncher. Right? Charlo caught him with a shot on the temple, landed clean, put him out. Three years ago, he was 22. He's better now. Um, you know, and to that, and I wasn't in the first round, but. Charlo also put Rosario out with one shot. So whatever you're going to say about one, you're going to say about the other. They were both put out by one shot by Rosario. Now, one happened in the first round, but a shot like that comes when it comes. Um, again, I, I may change my mind because Rosario is a physical beast. I, I mean, uh, I would say J-Rock is as good or better than Lubin, and, and Rosario had no problem with him, but then... This division is tough, guys. This division is so 50-50. If you run these fights back, you can get different outcomes. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm excited for this fight. I think this is a heck of a fight. Um, and, and Showtime Championship Boxing, PBC, the 154-pound division, is, is is coming through right now with great fights. Um, they are delivering for us. They really are delivering. Um, the 154-pound division is has... And we're, you know, we're getting probably Laura... Uh, Castano for the undisputed um, title in the near future. Um, you gotta get Laura a fight. You gotta get Laura better fight. But it, it, this 154 pound division is something to behold right now. You're getting the great fights, even fights, and they're fighting each other. Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Are you into this fight? Uh, I, I think. I mean, I'm stoked for this fight. Um, again, I'm gonna put the link in the description for Taka. That's uh, the community, uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, the Autism Community in Action. It's the, the best organization out there for healing and recovering uh, autism. Um, if you can, please share it. If it's possible, if it's in the budget, you can make any size donation. It's greatly appreciated for Duke and Dax, two uh, youngsters here in Texas battling autism. Um, it's, a, and it's, it's, a, it's a charity and a foundation that's near and dear to our hearts here at 3D Boxing. Uh, so that's something you can do. Please do. And please share it. Sharing it's free. Um, if you can't, if you don't have the, the funds to donate, that's fine. We understand. Maybe someone else who will see it does. You know, um, it is April 2nd. Like I said, National Autism Day 2021. Um, April 2nd, 2021. Um, Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. We need to make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.